I can remember when I was a young guy, I see these old guys, usually they were old guys, these big old long beards, you know, thinking, man, I'd like to, someday maybe I'll be able to grow one like that. This set uh, super long, they let them grow out here, I always keep mine cut off there, but, because my face wouldn't get too wide, but uh, finally, when I'm old enough to grow one, it's gray. All right, folks, welcome back. You remember this guitar? I think if you see the videos in the right order, you're going to see this unbox. You should have already seen that video before you're seeing this one, if they come at you in the right order. Uh, what is that? A, a, a Martin J40M, I think so it is. You can look it up. They're fairly expensive guitars. He's got this tune. I don't know what that is. I checked it with the meter, and the low E is the C... It's a sharp C sharp. What would that be? C sharp. That'd be a B, wouldn't it? I don't know. Anyways, it's tuned that way. I started to work on this other day. The bindings coming loose on it. And I thought, well, I'm going to make a video and then inspect it. Because I just started looking around here and uh, I happen to think my CA glue is getting really old. It still probably would work, but I ordered new glue. And I'm waiting on that to come in. But I found something else here that I didn't even see, and the owner didn't even know about this. So i got to repair that too, and I want to get you and bring it over here and show that to you right now. Hold on. Here's what she looks like. Look at the gold-plated hardware, man. And uh, the problem's pretty evident. Now this is, this is worse than it looks. You see there's binding right here. And it's loose too. See it moving in there? So I'm going to get that pulled up and glued. I'm probably going to have to heat this to make it fit. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to get glue on both of those, pull them both up there together, and glue them both at the same time. It comes all the way down. Oh, man. Right in there. So I'm probably going to have to glue them both down. You know, th this little one here is okay. It's only loose right here. But I'm probably going to glue them both at the same time. Then I can just, if I put glue on that and glue it in, and then this doesn't fit up again it, because of the glue, then, you know, I'm just making more work for myself. If I glue them both at the same time, get it hot, stretch it down there tight, and uh, tape it, it should be okay. Now, here's the other problem I found out. Right there. Can you see that? Where, where are you, man? There you are. Hopefully you can see that binding moving. It's just starting to come loose right there. I think you might be able to see it in, in the camera even. Yeah. It's not very bad yet, but I'm going to catch it before it does get bad. And uh, he didn't know about that. The owner didn't know about it, and I spotted it when I seen this. And so I ordered new glue. It's, I'm not going to yet. It should have been here a day ago. It's not here yet. Anyways. That's the two things that I'm told to fix. Here it comes loose. You can see up here almost all the way. That's an easy fix, though. It's just going to take a little time, is all. Pick guard's pulled up a wee little bit right there on the... Right there, if you can see that. I don't think you see it. Maybe a little bit. There's nothing to worry about. I assume he plays this guitar like this. Uh, I'm going to take some measurements and stuff on here and write them down. I know what most of them are already, but uh, real quick, look at the string action. It is high. <laughs> the neck is uh, got some forward bow in it and then a really big ski jump back here. Measure that at the 12th fret. Oh lordy. The high E to 12th fret is 864. And the low E, I can't see it, 964. See, I told you it was pretty high. Quite, quite high it is. I know the neck relief's going to be funky. Uh, let me get my new tool out here. Some of y'all seen this, some of you not. It's a taper gauge. Uh, let me 
just curious. That ski jumps, it's gonna mess this all up here. Well, I didn't even have 10,000 in it. But I looked down the neck and I could see, well, wait a minute, let me check, let me check it up here. Yeah, that's raising that. There, it just goes under there, it just barely touches the string. So it is about 10,000 snack relief. I don't know if you ever bother to check it over here anymore. If a big string thick one's got room to vibrate, then the little ones are, are going to have room. Uh, if they are, are not got a twist in them or something like that. Nut action is about 20,000. That's good. This is probably lesser. It looks... No, it is 20,000. Exactly. So that's good. But the, like I say, the action on this is really high. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. See that? It's jacked up there, man. I already went over this and scraped all the old glue. Some of it was on the wood down in there. Some of it was still stuck to the binding. That's all clean now. And uh, going over the guitar, looking at the binding right here. This is the back of it. Right there's the back. Over there's the top. Looking at the binding right here, it looks like someone has repaired that right there before. I see some extra glue, glueage spots there. Some of this, I was telling you, I'm scraping the glue off, and I seen what looked like glue on the side of the binding, and I realized to leave that on there, that's finish, and there's places in the finish that it goes right back into and fits perfectly and you can't even tell it was ever apart and that's the way it'll look when we're finished so we want to leave that on the sides the way it is and just glue it back that way I've already went over this and looked at it pretty close I didn't see any other places there again it looks like well that's the same one I was looking at I think yeah it looks like somebody repaired that before put some glue in it at least put the glue in it. It's a nice guitar, man. I can't play it in that tuning. I'm not even going to attempt to. But I do want to listen for... I don't hear any loose braces. That's good. I have did this before, though. And missed it. I didn't hear them and it did have loose braces. So you guys heard it. Some of you. That's the binding rattling. Where it's loose. That's the binding you're hearing rattling. I'm not hearing any loose braces. Next joint looks really good. Like I say, this neck has really got some forward bow in it, but I wasn't told to do anything to that or the setup or anything, so I'm not going to bother that stuff. Unless uh, we talk an email or whatever and he tells me set it up or whatever, I'm not even going to change strings on it because uh, the only thing I'm supposed to do is fix the binding. And as soon as the glue comes in, that's what I'm going to do. Doing it again today, folks. You guess it. Only this time we'd be eating steak. Steaks. Be eating steaks today. Check it out. Steaks on the grill. See that? 90 degrees here today. Actually, it's 96 degrees. 96 degrees outside today. And uh, we're going to be eating good, whatever degree it is. <laughs> My apologies for the air conditions in the background kicking on and off. Uh, it's been hot, man. It's just been super hot here. And uh, been running air conditioning day and night. Well, not so much at night. It kicks off but at night, but it runs more through the day than it's off. Anyways, as soon as the glue comes in, this guitar will be next. Probably maybe I'll have something up before then. I don't know. 
way things have been going here on YouTube lately. I don't think YouTube even knows. <laughs> uh, link under this video that you're watching right now. Go down there and click that link. It'll take you to my new channel. If you want to see more videos, I know you supposed like uh, two and three and sometimes even four videos on the big channel every week per week. And we're down to one now. And that may very well go away if YouTube, uh, they're, they're starting to, let's say, let me just say traffic to the bigger channel is starting to pick up. I don't know if that's a sign of anything to come. It's been going down, man, for the last two years. And it's just about as low as it can possibly go. So the only way it could go you know, is either shut it completely off or start picking up. It's starting to pick up a tiny bit, so I'll watch it, make a few more videos to see what happens here before I completely move to the other channel. Anyways, you should uh, come over to that other one. There's a lot more videos being posted over there. And uh, maybe before too long, all of my videos will be posted over there. I don't know, man. I just don't know what YouTube's going to do. You know how it is to try to talk to somebody, actual voice at YouTube. It's near impossible to get a hold of anyone like that. It's almost impossible to get a hold of them in email or any other, you know, online way. They just don't answer you. I guess they would eventually, but... I don't know. They're not saying much to me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for keeping it here through all this. It's got to get better. It's got to get better. It can't get any worse unless they just shut the channel completely down. You know, so maybe there's hope yet. It's, you know, like I say, it's starting to pick up. So hopefully that'll be, you know, starting the right direction. Anyways, cheers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you. And uh, hopefully it won't be a week. <laughs> Come over. Sign on. Plenty of videos over there. Mm -hmm.